this isn't clickbait. This actually happened. <laughs> How's everyone doing? It's good. So I still don't have an intro. And this is a different sort of video I was not expecting to be uploading. So the video I was going to post this week, I'm going to be posting next week because this kind of randomly came up and I was like, this is an amazing opportunity for a video. So you're wondering, how did I meet 24 karat golden on a Zoom call? Well, I'm going to tell you. So basically scrolling through my Instagram feed, I was just, you know, you get those pop-up ads from time to time and it came up with one for 24 karat golden because he's got his new album coming out on the day I'm uploading this, El Dorado, make sure you check it out. I've heard some snippets, it's really good. And it said, oh yeah, sign up, put your name in there. You may be able to go for a pre-release Zoom party with him. And I'm like, eh, what's the worst that could happen? Thinking nothing of it, because this man is up there with Moo, Coco, everything like that. You thought, nah, never gonna happen, never gonna happen. I got an email basically saying, oh yeah, you're in. And at the time I was thinking, oh yeah, my submission was in, as in like, I have a chance, but no. Apparently that meant I was in in and I was like, what? Because I didn't find out till the actual night of the pre-release uh, Zoom call, which was Monday just gone. At 7.30, I get an email saying the Zoom call is live. And I'm like, because I'm planning next week's video and I'm thinking, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> and so I join a Zoom link and I'm there just vibing with 24 karat gold. It's weird. Like, this moment i'm still kind of gas confused and all sorts of emotions about it. now this is going to be a shorter video because although i got in a call with him i wanted to kill myself after because i recorded it with no audio they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not I'm not even exaggerating the amount of anger and frustration I felt as soon as I found out I genuinely wanted to throw everything out that window there. But we move and I cannot just ignore it. You've got content to make. I was on there for 27 minutes. He basically played snippet after snippet of all the songs coming up on the new album. All of them so far did like, because I think I joined a bit late. They all sounded really good. Like I feel like easily at least two or three of them could be summer bangers like they're that sort of song and it will be a good album i'm not just saying that because i actually got the opportunity to meet him or anything like that but having met him he is genuinely a really down earth cool guy like it's weird to think because i'm 22 this year i think he's only just turned 21 so he's younger than me and making these big moves in the music industry and that seemed very humble so i actually appreciate that quite a bit like speaking to him it didn't feel like well, I knew who he was, so it did feel like speaking to a celebrity. But at the same time, it just kind of felt like talking to a new kid. Does that make sense? It was weird. But no, really nice guy. I'm surprised. So we asked a few questions. Everyone got to ask a few questions. I was like the last person, I think, to ask questions. And I asked three questions. I asked Dream Collab. How do you feel when mood? Reach number one. You know, like typical music stuff. And then obviously the hard hitting stuff. Would you prefer Toes for Nipples? or nipples for toes. This is some serious shit. Luckily, he is a man of logic and he answered the right answer. That answer, I wanna hear what you say. Comment down below what you think the answer is and what's the right answer. Don't worry, I'll judge. The entire time I was plugging my YouTube channel. So when he was playing one or two previews, I got my whiteboard from up there and it had subscribed to Curtis Cassell on it. So I started raising it up, realizing that I had the virtual background on. And so I had to take off the virtual background. I put the virtual background on because I had a lot of mess in the background because of my webcam. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, let's make it tidy. I need my whiteboard. Clean my room quick. Literally just chucked all my washing over there and grabbed the whiteboard like, oh yeah, yeah, vibing, vibing. Holding up the whiteboard like, subscribe. And then I thought, oh, I could do one better than this. So I took a screenshot of my YouTube channel page, Curtis Cassell, make sure you subscribe. And I had it as my background the entire time, like for a good 15 minutes. And so whenever it was vibing, I was just there, you know, pointing up to it. Like, <laughs> But what's really annoying about not having audio is because at the end he was saying, no matter what your dreams, artistically, whatnot, follow them. And at the end, I was literally like, subscribe to Curtis Cassell, I'm on the grind. And he was like, you know what, fair play, I respect that. And even like when I started the call, he was even like shout out to Curtis Cassell and I can't even use that clip anymore for like context. Ah! But we move, we move. Honestly, it it was a weird experience. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Just randomly just doing what I was doing on Monday night. Oh, hey, 24 karat golden on the other end waiting for you. Cool. But yeah, 
that is my story. I'm really annoyed that I don't have the audio, but I have the video footage so you can see me and 24 karat gold in there, kinda. I mean, he does. it doesn't look the best in quality, obviously. You, it is what it is, but it's not clickbait. It actually happened, so there's something. But thank you very much for watching either way. I know it's a bit of a shorter video, but next week's video I'm working on will be an absolute banger. So <laughs> please make sure you leave a like on the video, comment down below. Would you rather have nipples for toes or toes for nipples? God, I am a YouTuber. Question of the day. Oh. And subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more content. This is Curtis Cassell. I don't have an outro. See you later. Bye.